I don't claim to be an expert on crystals, but I have picked up some tips and tricks along my studies. My grandmother was a geologist, so I have personally seen some really neat stuff, but I want to talk about them in a way you may not have heard before. We know that crystals have consciousness and can store information, just like water and just like DNA. So, if they have consciousness, are they sentient beings like us? I would say yes, as sentience is relative. Sentience, meaning they can collect and hold and probably process data, just like us humans. They also grow and form shapes, just like us. Apparently they each have a different purpose and different qualities, just like us too. I've heard it said that there are beings that live inside the crystals, but I think the crystals themselves are conscious and aware of their surroundings, and I do believe they are transmitters of different kinds of frequencies. Keeping that in mind, is it wise to put a crystal under your pillow so you can have sweet dreams? The only answer to that would be, try it and see for yourself. Some people have reported awful nightmares after doing that, but I suppose it all depends on the crystal you are playing with. So then, let's talk about buying them, or any other way they can come to be in your possession. Now that we know the crystals carry around energy with them, who was their previous owner, and the guy who owned it before that? Did any previous owner put their intention into them in order to program them for a specific function? Does that sound funny to you? I'll tell you, when I bought each one of my crystals, the first thing I did was read them some metaphysical instructions I found on the internet so they know what their job should be, like they didn't know already, but I just wanted to make sure. Now if I gifted you my crystal, it has my intention in it. What if you obtained a crystal from a bad guy who put bad intentions into it, or even cursed it? How can you remedy this? Some ways to clear the energy from crystals, I've heard, are to use a seal night wand, or salt water, or simply intentional reprogramming. You will need to look those up as I won't be detailing that here. Some will tell you to put your crystals out in the sun or moonlight, but in case you are new to this awakening game, the moon is an artificial alien death star, and the sun was made in China. So, it is probably best to just keep them in a cool dry place, the same as your other electronics. Deciding which crystals to buy is a very personal thing. Are you buying it because it just plain looks pretty, or are you seeking out something specific for its metaphysical properties? Just keep in mind that what is a perfect fit for someone, is not guaranteed to work out for you the way you hoped it would. Each crystal is as unique as food, or medicine, or even perfume, when you introduce it to your body. Your body may resonate with the frequency, or you may be repelled by it. The same thing that happens when a dark one walks into a crowded room, everyone can just somehow feel that the energy had just changed. I believe that if you love your crystals and talk to them lovingly, they will respond in kind. In fact, I do believe you should treat everything with loving intention in order to get the desired feedback from the universe. That was the end of the article, so you can end this video now if you don't want to hear me mention my website. My website is HigherSelfPortal.com. If you become a member, it costs just 11 11 per month. Your membership includes the ability to have your own YouTube videos imported. You can write your own blogs, and you can place advertisements for your spiritually based business. All videos and articles are also sent out to Facebook and Twitter. We have a Discord server for those of you who like to chat and make new like-minded friends. Please join us on the website to find many new articles and videos every day. Thank you, my friends, see you there.